Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a flip through of this old, like, scrapbooky. It's kind of like a sc more scrapbooky junk journal than the junk journals I do now. This was before I had, like, discovered junk journaling. Um, but it has, like, a similar concept to it where there's just, like, it's more matchy matchy than what I do now but I just I have a whole bunch of like old smash books and and books like this that are completed and they're just sitting on my shelf and I thought it might be fun to share them with you guys um and uh I am going to be moving um in like two months at the end of April so all of this needs to get packed up and I've been kind of wanting to share these with you guys so I figured now was a perfect time I could film the videos and then pack them up so um yeah so there's going to be a quite a few of these types of videos soon or soon um in the next couple months uh, I'm gonna try to do some other videos but I don't currently have a junk journal made for myself because I finished my last one and I didn't I don't have another one like done and ready to go um for myself so uh i think i'm gonna improvise with something else that i already have but i'm gonna figure that out so yeah just a little psa there you go so this is a like an old heidi swap um <clears throat> like uh i don't know binder scrapbook thing um and this, yeah, this, this is like real old, but it's so cute. And this thing is real chunky. Um, so you, I don't know if you can tell, like, it's like bending at the rings because there's so much in there. But uh, I did this so long ago. I think most of the pages in here, or maybe even all of the pages in here, like the actual pages themselves, like, were part of this set. So. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead. So it did come with this acetate, I think. Honestly, it's been so long. Um, and it says Adventure Seekers. Pretty sure it did. And then uh, there's this page right here that had a window cut out in it. I didn't do anything to the front except for staple one of these. Uh, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Staple one of these like acetate word things. Uh, and most of the stuff in here is Heidi Swap, but you know. So in here, I have a picture of my grandpa and me and my sisters from like, oh my god, forever ago. Probably from when I was in like, I don't know, third grade or something like that. <laughs> it's really old. So it's just got like a glitter word sticker from Heidi Swap and then some enamel dots. And then it did come with this... Um, this is like a po this mini pocket page thing and I just put some of the the little mini journaling cards in there and then these ones I put some wood veneer and sequins and then I sealed them with uh, my fuse tool and then <clears throat> I have a picture of my son from so long ago oh my god isn't he adorable I think he's so stinking cute like not even in a, like a parental bias kind of way like I just think he's an adorable kid even if he weren't my kid I would think he was adorable that's what I'm trying to say so this was from 2014 so he was probably about um Christmas to that he was probably about like a year and a half old Christmas to almost two years old because his birthday's in March so almost 2000 what? Almost 2,000? What? No, definitely not. Um, so those, I think that picture is from like his daycare or something. And then I have this pocket right here. It's just a simple stories pocket. <clears throat> and these are tickets from when I went to go see the Harlem Globetrotters in California. And it kind of doesn't want to go back in there. There we go. Uh, this is just like a like a lined page that I think came in here and then on this side I <coughs> excuse me my throat's acting up 
I just glued the back of this Christmas card and then I put a um, a label there to kind of explain it and then another picture of my son and there there's like a big puffy like flare badge right there and a wood veneer I did there's I don't know I don't know what to say about this it's just I love it I love it so much oh my god this mm, this picture okay so I honestly don't remember what's in here I think there's just like a lot of random stuff which is why I was saying it's kind of like junk journal style because it doesn't have any rhyme or reason to it that is a picture of me um when I was in soccer but you gotta love those soccer picture poses oh my god look how dorky I look oh my god dorky and chunky adorable then I just wrote pretty much saying I don't know when this picture was taken I don't know when this picture was taken probably fourth grade fifth grade something like that fifth grade maybe uh, it's hard to tell because I played soccer for like, I don't know, eight or nine years. Uh, this is a picture of my son on his little, um, like airplane scooty thing. This is, a uh, Dusty, Dusty Crop Hopper. And it was really cool because it had like buttons and stuff and the propeller actually moved and it lit up. It was real neat. He loved it. He would just sit there and press the button for the propeller, not even sitting on the airplane, and then just, like, watch it go. I, I don't know. He was a crazy kid. <clears throat> so, this is a picture of when my husband took my son to California, and they went to Legoland. So, there's, like, a Lego shark and a Lego diver. Um, so, I just put Legoland over here on the tab and some washi and then I use some like glitter like some little glitter sticky things I don't know what you call them they come in the little bottles and like liquid glitter so I did little dots I wrote about um, their trip and then there's a, another picture from Legoland with my husband and my son and they're in front of the little Chewbacca and I just put lots of little like bits and pieces and stuff on here Look, I gotta be careful because it's kind of like coming up a little bit. <laughs> These are really old pictures of me attempting to play, like, or er, learning how to shoot basketball with my grandpa, my uncle, and my cousin. And look at that stance. That's a real professional right there. Another little pocket page thing. This is from uh, one Christmas, I think. Oh, 2000, either 2009 or 2010. Christmas. Oh, there's my little baby. He is so cute. And then there is me. Sitting on a police motorcycle. Looking like a complete weirdo. <laughs> That's my life. That's just all the pictures of my life. Just me being weirdo. So there's lots of layers. Most of the things here have like a few layers. There's some chipboard pieces. These are from, I don't even know. They're like real old. They're not Heidi Swap, but they're really old. And I just stapled a little hello script sticker there. Wrote police motorcycle. I was real creative. Another picture of my son. And another one of him. There's a lot of pictures of him in here. Um, again, just lots of layers. There's some Project Life cards here, some washi, lots of Heidi Swap bits and vellum. There's some like pearls here. I was not afraid of like going chunky on the embellishments on this, clearly. There's like a wooden ticket. And then this is like a uh I think this was just a scrap piece of acetate that I had and I used like one of these as a guide and I cut it out in that shape and then I put a high swap glitter sticker there and I stapled it. Uh, some more layers. There's lots of like 
ribbony things here, some chipboard. I was really trying to just use a lot of stuff up too, but still keep it cohesive. So lots of random paper scrap layers and these like chipboard things. I was really trying to use those up, I guess. Oh, I love this page. This is so pretty. Look at the glitter. Mm. Love it. So this is me and my son. He's so cute. And then just lots of like wooden pieces. I stapled a bow here. This is another chipboard piece. I think this is some washi here. Lots of little ribbon scraps trying to use those up. And then some wood veneer hearts. Another one of these little like pocket page things. I fused a uh, flower shaped paper clip into there. And then these just have like some random embellishments. This is a vellum scrap. It's got a big piece of vellum here. Some Heidi Swap words. And these just have like tons of layers back there. And if you can tell, like so many layers. Just trying to use up scraps again. This piece is real simple. I really like this vellum. I think that's probably why. Um, this is my son's first trip to the ER. <laughs> Gotta commemorate that. He had scarlet fever, which was so exciting. And then over here, he is eating a bowl of mixed veggies because this kid loves his vegetables loves his vegetables so much I don't understand I don't I've never met a child who loves vegetables as much as he does which is hilarious <clears throat> because when he was still eating baby food he refused to eat anything green like any green baby food he refused it I had to like mix it in with other baby foods so that it would hide the color and then he would eat it but I don't understand now he loves vegetables. Strange child. So there's another one of those like super puffy um, flare badges, some epoxy little circle things, a globe, a, well, the earth. Circle things. You know, it's a circle thing. Oh, uh, this page is titled Love Limes because he also loves limes. He is like less than a year old right here probably and he is sucking on a lime this child is to this day if you let him he will sit there and just suck on a lime <sighs> strange child so there is a project life card back here and a couple paper scraps some uh, enamel dots another one of those little page protectors and this like c is coming off of here The stickers are not sticking real well. It's a good thing it's in a cage protector because that's well, not working out too well. So this is my son at daycare. He looks really like chunky right here. Oh, he still has pretty chunky chipmunk cheeks, even though the rest of him's kind of slimmed out. He's got little chipmunk cheeks, so cute. There's a picture of him playing with a big ball. And when we got home, and there is us buying the ball having a ball. I'm so clever. Um, I kind of like stapled this piece of this little scrap of ribbon over here so it kind of like hangs over like a little tab. And then just a picture of him being silly and then I um, tied some twine into a ribbon or into a bow and I clipped it on with this um, little mini clothespin thing and I actually glued it so that it doesn't come off and then this is a picture of my son with um, my sister-in-law and then um, this was a picture that my husband sent me of some random dude I think it's a meme now and um, it was a guy dressed as Dumbledora <laughs> Dora the Explorer and Dumbledore and I just thought it was the funniest thing at the time. I thought it was hilarious so I printed it out and my cats are fighting <laughs> and I put it in a scrapbook uh, with a giant 
mint green doily behind it that matches actually the letters like perfectly <clears throat> clap clap learning to clap actually this was done so long ago that this picture might have been taken when he was learning to clap but i really feel like not <laughs> um another picture of him there's a lot you guys have seen a lot of pictures of him today oh my gosh he loved this sorry about that uh, anyway he loved this i think it was actually a puppet it was like a little lobster stuffed animal i don't know if we still have it or not i hope we do because it was really cute <laughs> so there's a picture of him the little lobster <laughs> this picture is hilarious i still love it and i feel like there were more letters here i really don't think i just put an a because that makes no sense to me don't know why there's just a random a here i think it said gary because there's my husband had this little like squishy lizard thing and he named it Gary and it was from like the Target dollar bin and he took it to work with him and sat it like this up against a sharpie and then wrote on a sticky note sup girl <laughs> oh my god so that is so so funny to me there's just a picture of my son sleeping and a picture of my son like looking at oh there it is I was trying to find where it was. see right there I don't know if you can tell on camera it looks just like a tree root but it's a little bunny rabbit and he was just looking at the bunny rabbit and here I did some like I don't know interesting layering I put a piece of chipboard back here so it kind of like I don't know. It looks kind of cool. And layered. A picture of some bunny tracks in snow. When I first, when I saw bunny tracks in snow for the first time, I legit did not know what the heck it was. I thought it was some like weird alien deer that had walked through my yard in the middle of the night. I was like, what on earth is this thing? So then I took it to somebody and I was like, somebody who knew about like hunting and tracking and stuff. And I was like, what animal is this? And he was like, that's a, that's a rabbit. And I was like, no, you're wrong. There's no way that's a rabbit, but it is. Rabbit tracks in snow are bizarre looking. So they, they just look like giant alien deer feet. <laughs> and I even wrote, they look so alien. Picture of me and my son. Oh, you guessed it another picture and then another one of these just some extra pieces of vellum and paper and a little butterfly clip in there grocery store pals there's like a um, piece of acetate back here from something I'm not sure what because it's like real thin I don't know what that's from just lots of layers and then I did the like the acetate thing over here again and I just kept it square and then or yeah squared off and then put two little like star glitter things there the picture of my mom and my sister and um yeah these silver letters are falling off real bad and i have no clue where they went um but this used to say wine tastic i think because it says wind tastic and that doesn't make sense and they're drinking wine so i'm gonna go ahead and assume that's wine tastic <laughs> oh my god this is probably my favorite picture in this entire book because this is my grandpa wearing my sister's heart-shaped sunglasses and my title was Papa to Swag because this picture is incredible. I just love it so much. And then oh, his smile is just the cutest. Oh my god. And then yeah so there's a picture of him talking about how 
difficult to get him to smile for the camera because he gets distracted. Oh, there's the E. Oh my gosh. This is just insane. This is insane. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something and just give me like one a second. Probably not the greatest way to fix this problem, but I'm just going to take a piece of tape. Just a piece of regular clear tape, and that's going right on there. And that's going to keep those down. And that's, that's what's happening. Alright, that's fixed. <laughs> if only I knew where the other silver letters for that other word were, but whatever. And then, oh, this is a picture of me when I was a baby. This is like one of the only pictures that I have of me as a baby, I think, as like a baby baby. I think it's the, like other than like dark and grainy pictures of people holding me where you can't really see me at all. This is my only baby picture. And I look weird. This thing that I'm doing right here where I'm looking off to the side in the picture is like a running three a running theme throughout my life. And then I just did a little journaling about it. And then this oh, okay, this is another picture of me, but not like a proper picture, just like a weird picture of my super chunkiness messing with a bowl. And I wrote, all I can think when I look at this pic picture of me is how much I look like baby Raffi. And it's true. Like, that's so funny. Oh my god, I was chunky. Dang. Um, this was Raffi watching uh, Spanish children's songs, like YouTube videos. And another picture of him. Doing the same thing, I think. Uh, he has a little moose on his butt. That's why it says moose butt. <laughs> he had this, like, a little baby, like, baby's laptop thing. Of course, he couldn't pronounce it, so it was his tap top. Oh my god. This. This is, like, oh, so incredible. Ever make mistakes in life? Let's make them birds. Yeah, they're birds now. <laughs> and then Rafi eating chicken nuggets. Yummy chicken nuggets. Just so cute. Oh, I lost an O. I lost an O. Where are all these letters? Like, I need to find these letters and tape them down. Anyway, this was supposed to be say this is supposed to say shoveling snow, but no, clearly it does not. Um, but yeah, that's the last picture in here, and I just really, like, love how it all, I don't know, how it all came together. There's nothing on the back of that page, but it's just so incredible. I think eventually I'm going to have to go through this and kind of, like, re-adhere some things, but it'll survive for now, I think. I'm gonna, I gotta check on the shelf that this is on and look for some letters, see if they fell or something, but... Anyway, um, that is the flip through of this. This is like, oh, I don't know. Something about this just makes me so happy. Like all the layers and everything, the tabs, it's just, I love it so much. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all that stuff. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye.